Hello everyone, welcome back to A Dancer's Mindset. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button so you never miss another episode. I had such an amazing response from the first episode, so I'm so glad you loved it and I was able to help you. Today, we are going to be continuing on that train of self-growth and talking about how to stop comparing yourself to others. This has been a big topic among my followers and I often get asked on how to stop this and how we can combat this. So I thought, let's start with a quote from Sharon Alder. This quote I came across. Personality begins where comparison leaves. Be unique, be memorable, be confident and be proud. Now I think that's pretty perfect and I'm sure a part of you already knows this. You know you shouldn't compare yourself to others, yet that's often easier said than done, and you do it anyway. You can't control it. We think things like, she's got higher legs, she is in my dream school or company, she has better feet than me, she's got better everything. The number of categories in which we can compare ourselves to others are infinite. So is the number of people we can compare ourselves to. Social media really doesn't help with that does it comparing ourselves to others is generally a one-way spiral to unhappiness it will only lead to misery all it does is keep you focused on what you aren't rather than what you are or could be like let's look at me for a second i've changed my path i haven't gone down the perfect in quotation marks path that society says i should do I've kept my blinders on to others around me and known in my gut that what I'm doing is right for me. However, there were many voices around me saying, I was crazy. You should do this. This girl is in this company. You should be too. Why aren't you a principal somewhere? Now, yeah, sure, I could have been. But if I had listened and constantly compared myself to others around me and what they're doing, who are apparently living how I should live my life, guaranteed it would have made me depressed, isolated, not growing or moving anywhere. I I certainly wouldn't have helped all the dancers I have so far or be here talking to you today. Maybe you compare yourself to other dancers, your classmates. Realise we are all unique be inspired by them. You must will them to do well. You are your own person with something to offer. You were put on this planet for a purpose. Be happy for those around you. Be grateful for what you have and be addicted to growing even more and improving yourself. Now here's a few ways you can stop comparing yourself to others starting today. Water your own plant. When we focus on other people, we lose time that we could otherwise invest in ourselves. We don't grow our own plants by focusing on our friend's garden, having more roses. We do it by investing in our own. So instead of wasting time comparing your path to someone else's, spend it investing, creating and caring for your own. Be grateful where you are right now. Now, this is an important one. You can't change something you don't acknowledge. So instead of resisting, acknowledge where you are and be grateful for that. And from that place, make decisions that will move you in the right direction. Remind yourself of what you're grateful for. So ask yourself, what are you grateful for? Your teachers your friends, your determination, that arabesque you worked on, those three pirouettes you did last week that you worked so hard on getting, your home at the end of a long day. Keep these in mind and you will be happier. Remember where you are now isn't the end. We keep going. Just be grateful of where you are right now because you're going to progress further than here and it's an exciting prospect. Admire your past. 
and be at peace with it. Your life up until now might have been bumpy. It might have been filled with bad decisions and mistakes, anxiety and fear. I know mine has, <laughs> but all those things happened so I could become a better, wiser and more courageous version of myself. So embrace your past and how much you've grown. Be proud of what you've done and for wanting to create a better life for yourself from here on. Take it easy on social media. We're constantly bombarded with people who have the best everything. Highest legs, crazy turns, skinny bodies. Social media can be a, a great source for inspiration. But if it triggers you to have self-doubt and frustration, then think about doing a detox. Make sure you are in control of social media and using it to your advantages and not the other way around. So it's a disadvantage to you. Realize this isn't the end of the book. If you're not happy where you are today, remember that this is just a moment of your life. This is just one of many chapters. Where you are today doesn't say anything about where you'll be in one or three years from now. What matters isn't where you are. What matters is your mindset, your attitude and where you're going. You've got to decide not to let fear guide your choices. The choices we make are either based on love or fear. For example, I moved to Russia to go to the Vaganova Ballet Academy based on love. I loved Russian ballet. I loved ballet. I loved the idea of improving myself. I had to go. I loved it. Then I later took a job at Eiffelman Ballet after a year off with hip surgery. It, yes, it was a soloist contract, but something in my gut said it wasn't the right thing. But I thought if I don't take this opportunity, there may not be another opportunity for me anytime soon. And I've already wasted a year. So I decided I must take this opportunity. That decision was based on fear. And that didn't last very long, as my happiness has always been a huge priority for me. And ultimately, that always wins. Because I'm stubborn, and if I'm not happy with something, it's not going to last very long. Decisions based on fear never got me very far, or in the direction I wanted to be in. Make sure love is the foundation of your choices. Realize that you're not perfect, okay? And you never will be, nor are those around you, not even on Instagram. There will always be someone who's skinnier, more flexible, smarter. No one is perfect. Trying to be perfect is not the solution. So, Instead of getting down on yourself for your flaws and imperfections, accept them. And if ballet related, work on them. Free yourself by embracing the fact that you're imperfect. You are your unique self. And that's okay. That's a beautiful thing. Really beautiful. You've got to be your own best friend. That mean voice inside your head can tell you all kinds of nonsense. Mine's told me so much rubbish. <laughs> Instead of joining in, choose to be on your side. Give yourself regular pep talks. And if you wouldn't say it to a friend, definitely don't say it to yourself. Turn comparison into inspiration. We tend to compare our behind the scenes with someone else's big moment and big successes. We tend to focus on their success, not on the thousands of hours they've spent preparing and working for their achievement. This reminds me so much of when people come up to me and they literally say, you know, it's all right for you. You're perfect. You have the perfect body. You've always been flexible. You can do everything. Honestly, 
guys. <laughs> I remind them the amount of insane hours I did practicing and stretching. I came from nothing. All I had was burning passion, desire to dance, and I was gifted with archy feet. That is it, okay? I worked so hard to make myself into the best I could. And I mean, I'm still growing now. I'm still learning more and more about my dancing. I'm still growing as a person. I'm addicted to self-growth as I think it's an amazing thing. We never stop growing. Instead of letting other people's triumphs get you down on yourself, let them open you up to possibilities. Let them be inspiration for what you can be, do and have in your life. It shouldn't put you down. We've got to stop shoulding ourselves. Comparison often leads to us shoulding. We say things like, I should have, I should have been able to do this by now. I should be more turned out by now. By now. Or I should have come further by now. But statements like that just keeps us focused on what we're lacking, not what we already have. Instead of using should when expressing commitments, use words like want and notice how your inner dialogue and your mood shifts. Comparing ourselves to others often leaves us feeling frustrated, anxious, and stops us moving forward. It doesn't help one single bit in creating the life we want. Instead, it just takes away valuable time and energy that could have been spent improving. Whenever you focus on what other people have that you don't, you give away your power. Every minute spent on comparing your path to someone else's is a minute lost on creating your own amazing life. Now just think about that. Decide that your energy will be used for believing in yourself, not doubting yourself, and for creating, not sabotaging. Focus on you, your potential, and the possibility of your amazing life. Guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. It brings me joy to help more and more of you as you progress on your journey through life to become the dancer and person you want to be. Please make sure you subscribe to this podcast, tap the notification bell, and if you're listening on iTunes, please rate and review. It'll take you two minutes. I'll really appreciate it as it really helps bump the podcast up and lets iTunes know that more people should be listening to this. And then we can help more people. I appreciate you all. You're all amazing. And I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you for listening to A Dancer's Mindset.